What's up guys, welcome back to Stop for Garage. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a challenge of accomplishing a detail and showing you what you can get done in just one hour. So 60 minutes will be put on the clock and we're gonna do the inside of our seven seater SUV that we use to haul around our kids. So you know what that means, car seats, food, all that fun stuff. I've tried to minimize the food that goes in this car, but there's always some, it's kids, you know? I got five of them, I got a lot of kids. I got a lot of food that goes in and out of their mouths and you know what, things happen. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to last LastPass for sponsoring today's video and I want to talk to you guys about LastPass because not only is it an awesome password storage tool, it's helping support this channel and with the upcoming series, their support's definitely going to be needed because you know what, it's going to be some awesome content for you guys that's going to be coming out very, very soon and I'm excited to tell you all about it. So LastPass is a safe place that you can store all of your passwords and credentials and you know when you log into your bank and they say, what's your high school mascot or your grandmother's maiden name and then you realize you changed your password last week and you didn't change it on every other site that you went to that you use the same old password on. And you know what, you know how many times that happens to me? It happens all the time. And you know what, it's annoying, it's frustrating, but with LastPass, you can store all of your passwords. I think by far my favorite thing about LastPass is not only does it autofill everything, it allows you to sync it across all of your different devices. So if I'm trying to log into a live streaming video app that's on my kid's laptop or my, you know, my iPad, I can sync it across all of them so I don't actually have to input it in on each individual one. It'll sync it across all of them, which is super, super cool. I remember back in the day when I used to have roommates and we'd all share the utility bills or I'd tell them, hey, dude, pay the power bill this month, but it'd be my password. And I didn't want to give them my pe special password that was across all my devices. But with LastPass, you can actually share a temporary password just for them just for that special person that you don't want trust with your real password to go in, pay your bills, you know, do whatever you need to do, whatever your situation is, LastPass has you covered. No longer do you have to have the same password for everything, which I don't do. And if you want extra features like multi-authentication and all the different things that you guys might want, LastPass has those options for you and their basic and their premium features. So make sure you guys go check it out. I'll have a link in the description box below. So I timed this actually pretty awesomely. So you're gonna see my, my awesome little new baby born son right there. He's actually four months old now. Either way, guys, the clock, that's you. The clock is starting at four o'clock by five, I'm done. So in this entire video, you're gonna see me running around frantically just trying to get this done in one hour. But the first step obviously is to get everything out of the car, car seats, floor mats, trash, cups, whatever's in there, get it all out before you start the vacuuming process. Because this isn't gonna be a deep clean video, I'm not pulling out any seats. So I'm just picking up all the seats, trying to move them around as much as I can to get anything that collects underneath them out of the car and vacuumed up. Since this is a newer car to our family fleet, I will say that whenever I get a chance to do a deep clean or do any cleaning in general on a car, you find like these different things about it that you didn't know existed before. Like I didn't know the seats all went down and then went down even further. And like just, I think it's the beauty of having a new car and just figuring out how it works and all the intricacies of it that you didn't realize when you first purchased it. I think that's just one of the coolest things about getting a new car. I recommend using a bristle brush when you're doing any of your detailing, whether it's a harder one for the carpet itself or a smaller detailing type brush to get all of the dust and dirt that's kind of collected in the door jams and the different like plastic panels. It helps with getting that dirt removed so that way when you do your wipe down cleaning process, there's not a whole lot left to do. So 26 minutes passed already. I have a lot more work to do, so I gotta get busting. But just the vacuuming process and being really thorough took about 26 minutes, which isn't half bad. 
So now that the vacuuming is done, I'm going to be moving to the door panels. And for the door panels, I'm going to do all of the steps on each panel as I move around. So first, I'm going to take my all-purpose cleaner and wipe down the entire window and the window frame. Then I'm going to clean the window glass with my glass cleaner on the inside and outside. And then I'm going to follow with my top coat protectant that helps with UV rays and also gives it that really plastically new, plastically, plastically is kind of a new word, I guess, uh, that new interior look. And then I'm going to continue that same process for each door panel around the entire vehicle. And real quick guys, let's not forget that I'm moving the camera during this whole process as well, which different angles and everything, it takes time. So let's see if we can do this. One thing I for sure need, I need to get a roller cart. That help out so much. That's better. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're going to jump on the inside, actually need to do the tailgate glass. Um, do the windows on the inside, do these back windows on the inside. There's like three sunroofs in this thing, so get those knocked out and then we'll get to the interior. Now I'm gonna start at the top of the car on the inside. I'm gonna start with all of the glass up top, all of the sunroofs, all of the side windows and rear windows. And then I'm gonna be doing the plastic panels and wiping those down with my cleaner and protectant. And the reason why you do this top coat stuff on all the interior panels is because you're hoping that it keeps the goo and the grime that your kids generate from sticking. Not really. It just makes it look prettier and protects it from the sun, but you know what? In my opinion, it protects them from the kid goo. I'm gonna keep saying that until I ever stop detailing. Because you know what? I think that's the main reason why it's there. My time's probably running a little bit close on this one, I will say that, guys. But the good news is, I'm already almost done with the back, and I'll be moving to the front soon. Here we go, time to go to the front. Now for the front cockpit area, I'm gonna be starting with the front windshield and the rear view mirror, and then I'm gonna start wiping down all of the dashboard, all the different trim pieces, getting all that stuff out of the cup holders and stains off the glove box area where feet get put up on, all those different areas first before I follow up with that protectant again.
make sure you're using some sort of detailing brush to help get into all those different nooks and crannies, especially around the buttons and the air vents. All of those different areas are really, really hard to get to with just a microfiber towel, and a detailing brush makes that job 10 times easier. Before I move on to the rear seats, I'm gonna get all of the different door sills and door trims wiped down with an all-purpose cleaner, get the gas pedal and the, th and the brake pedal, and get those all cleaned up and coated with my protectant. When it comes to the leather seats, because I'm not doing a full detail, I'm just gonna be wiping them down with a wet rag with all-purpose cleaner, and then I'm gonna be following up with my protectant that I've used on the rest of the vehicle. And the last step in the detail is cleaning up all of the different plastic floor mats. And I've mentioned this in all of my videos, especially if you live in the north, get some all-weather rubber mats or plastic mats. Use those because your carpet mats will always get dirty no matter what, and the rubber and plastic mats make it 10 times easier to clean. All you have to do is spray them down. I'm using my drill brush again to just get into the different grooves and channels that get in there. It makes it a lot easier and quicker just to hit it with the drill brush and soapy water. And that's a wrap. Um, so, yeah. Didn't quite hit the hour. This is what I hit. That was all in one hour, 19 minutes. But that included moving the camera, getting all the car seats out, moving the camera, and getting everything shot and everything move around. Like, you know, I usually have to set the camera up on this side and then I run to this side and everything else. So for an extra 20 minutes, not too shabby. And that's what I got done. I got all of the windows done. This, I mean, this is a big car too. So if you guys have a smaller car and you don't have as many seats to wipe down and everything else, definitely an hour doable job that you guys can knock out yourself if you follow this process. I'll have actually the whole steps and processes that I follow in the description box below in order and just the best way that I've come to figure out what is the best time effective way to do it. If you guys have any tips or suggestions on 
ways to speed up your details, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this sort of detail, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see next because I actually have a couple ideas of more specific like repair type videos that you guys are interested in. I mean, you guys ask a lot of special topics that you want to see details of. And if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. It's all thanks to you guys so that this is possible. So thank you so much for being part of Stoffer Garage Crew. And I'll see you guys in the next detail. Bye guys.